Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you today as always, and today's tutorial is going to be about how to make your own web browser in Xcode. And for those of you who don't know what Xcode is, Xcode is a developer tool from Apple. Uh, the only way to get it is if your account on Apple is a developer account. If it's not, no biggie, you just go to your Apple account, change it to developer. They'll ask for like your company's name and your job position and title, whatever. Uh, you can just put in random stuff, click OK, Apple automatically accepts it, they don't check or anything, and then you can just download the developer tools, and the link to Xcode will be in the right. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm going to open up Xcode. There, and we're going to go to File, New Project, Coke Application, click Choose, we're going to name it, we'll name this one Web Browser, and we'll save it to the desktop. And now we want to go to under actions, we want to click this little gear with the arrow. We want to go to add, and we want to go to existing frameworks. And we want the framework that says webkit.framework. Um, if it's not there right there in that first window like it was for me, you can always just do a search right there. So we're going to click add. I'm going to click add again. And now we're going to scroll down to where we see menu.xib. I'm going to double click on that, it's going to open up interface builder. So I'm just going to drag that and show you the four windows that we have. So now we have four windows. We have the library, we have the menu bar, we have the main menu.xib, and we have the window. So the main menu bar is just basically, you know, it's going to be right here up in the menu area. Um, the window, that's going to be the interface. That's what everyone's going to see. And this menu.xib just kind of has some, I guess, tools to use as well as the library. But we're not going to need that or that, but we are going to need these two, so I'm just going to make this bigger because it is a web browser and you want to be able to view most of the page as possible. So the first thing that we need, we need somewhere where you can actually see the page that you're looking at, so we want web view. We're just going to drag and drop, basically all you have that's all you have to do when you get something from the library, is just dragging and dropping. Alright, that looks good. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. Alright, that looks like that's going to be enough room. Maybe I'll drag that over a little bit more. I want to, I want them to be able to view as much as possible because it is a web browser. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need buttons. Buttons to go forward, back, and print and all that jazz. So right here, so we have one. Uh, this is going to be the back one. Uh, Copy-paste. That one's going to be forward, copy paste, and this one can be reload, refresh, uh, this one can be stop, refresh, ing, this one can be print, This one can be for making the text bigger. Ooh. Ooh. All right, there we go. And this one can be for making the text smaller. Wrong one. Smaller right there. And now we're just going to resize these down to whatever size we want. Maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. That one right there. It says, and you can name them or give them whatever whatever sort of image you want. And that's the cool thing about making this is that you can add any sort of customization feature that you'd like it to have. And then there's there's a lot more possibilities than what I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you guys the basics of making a web browser in Xcode. But there's believe me, there are many more options that you can have. So I'll just move that one up there. And now that we've named all of our buttons and we put them wherever we want, we are going to want a text field so I can enter a URL. So text field, going to drag and drop that. And I want this to be big so I can see the entire URL. That looks about right. Now that we have our UR where we're going to want the URL, and then we have all of our buttons, now we just have to code them. And coding is very easy in Xcode. 
uh, basically you can just click control click and drag that to the web view that we put in and it gives you this list right here of actions you can choose from uh, so I want to go back this one control click and then drag I want this one to go forward control click drag I want this one to reload I want this one to stop loading I want this one to... I want this one to print. Oh, I was right on the whole thing. I want this one to make text larger. And I want this to make text smaller. And for the URL bar, just click drag. And we want take string URL from. That's pretty much it. Now if you want, you can customize what the menu bar is going to look like. You basically just double click anywhere and you can just edit the text. I could do that. I could do. Right there, you can basically just customize anything that you want. But now that we're done, we want to go to File, Build, and go in Xcode. Uh, yeah, you want to click Save All. You want to click out of that. You want to click out of that. And is there anything else? Alright, that's it. So now Xcode is just building up our interface, and right there it already built up. That was really quick. Um, so now if I want to go somewhere, I can just type HTTP colon slash slash www dot. You have to type all this, that's the bad thing. Google.com. Right there. Google search right there. Uh, I can do a search for Apple. Go right there. can click that. I can do refresh, I can go back, I can go forward, I can make the text bigger, I can make the text smaller, or I could print. And it should open up my print thing, this is a test right there. Yep. So there you go, that's how you make your own little basic web browser in Xcode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and stay tuned for more. Um, usually peop lately I've been noticing that people always spam their Twitter right now, so if you want to follow me for exclusive content, you can follow me at twitter.com slash fisher12. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, hope you guys enjoyed it, and take care.